Hello and welcome. This is David from Sendlane, and in this tutorial, I'm going to go over on how to use the automated series module to send out a, a series of emails, or yeah, a series of emails once someone subscribes. So on the left hand side there, you want to click automated series, and if you already have some created here, it'll come up on this list. Since we don't have any, we'll go ahead and click on create new series. And that will bring you to uh, the trigger section. So I'm going to have it trigger when someone subscribes to a list. And that list is my fitness list. Click OK once you've got everything set up there. Now it's going to add, ask you to go ahead and add your first action. And by clicking on the plus right here. And so my first action is I want the subscriber to get an email. So I'm going to go ahead and select that first. As you can see here, the email is not specified. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and, if you have one created, it'll show up in this drop-down menu. Since I don't, I'm going to create one from scratch. And so this first email you're going to name, you're going to name all the emails. Once you get everything set up the way you like, go ahead and click on the green next at the bottom of the screen. And from this, you'll be able to select the different, uh, different ways to create your email. If you have one already saved in the My Templates section, you can select it from there. You can use one of our pre-designed, or if you know how to code your own, you have that option as well. So I'm going to go ahead and select a pre-designed one here. And you'll be able to view the template if you'd like, see if it's something that you'd like. Um, once you get one that you want, go ahead and click Select. And this will bring up the email editor. So I'll just do a quick editing here. Your Obviously you want to maybe put some more content in here than what I'm doing here. I'm just putting something quick and easy here. So they'll get that, uh, you know, you might, you're going to want to hyperlink that with your PDF. And I can show you that real quick. Let me show you, I've got one here. So let's, now I've got that linked up there, so they can go ahead and click that. I'm gonna, you know, introduce myself and add some text here to, to really flesh out this first email. You just don't want to have it look like this. But once you get this email edited the way you like, go ahead and click Save and Continue at the, the top there, and this will bring up the um, the plain text editor. So it pulls all the plain and all the text from your your HTML and puts it right here, and you can edit the way you like. Once you get it done, go ahead and click next at the bottom, and you'll come to this screen where it, you can go back and edit anything that you, we've already done. If you're happy with everything, click finish, and this will go ahead and save that email as well as set that up to you know go ahead and go. It brings me back to this screen. So, you know, I have another email I want them to get. So I'm going to go ahead and put that in there. We'll go ahead and create a new one here. Yeah, and then I've got a second email that I want to send. And I've actually got some pre designed stuff here that I can just copy and paste over. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. So once you get it set up the way you want, you'll go through the same uh, same options here. And so yeah, I want to get rid of some of these uh, some of 
those elements that I'm not going to use. I can't even use this title either. Now that I've got that in there, what I want to do is I'm going to copy some, some text here. Now keep in mind when you copy from like Microsoft Word, Microsoft Word will add a lot of formatting that this doesn't read well with HTML. Um, so here's the information that I copied and pasted over. So I want to clean this up and what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some spaces in here. So. So yeah, so you can go down and you know, copy this in the way you, the way it would look, and yeah. So and I could keep doing that here real quick, but I think you all get the get the point on you know really getting that email to look and read well. And yeah, this is just a simple of just making it look good. And I think that's good. And let me put one more spacer here. And there we are. So once you get it all set up the way you want, go ahead and again click Save and Continue. Now edit the plain text the way you like. And go ahead and finish up with that. And let me go ahead and show you an example of one more. There we go. All right. So this will be the third email. Three. And let's see, I think I have another pre-made template here I can send. Let's go ahead and set that one up. Okay, let's select a template. You know what I'm going to do? Well, yeah, take that one out. And what I'm going to do here is uh, show you how to use the text editor to remove formatting if you happen to use Word to copy over. So let me get this all copy. So I'll paste that. Now it's got the spaces that I wanted. So ideally, this is going to copy right over. There we go. So that's all set there. Plain text again. Confirmation screen. And there we are. So now I've got three emails ready to send, and what will happen is when someone you know subscribes to my list through my opt-in page, they'll get this first email. Um, they'll actually get all three because there's, if you notice, there was no way to set how many days that you want the email to send after someone subscribes. So the way you want to do that is I want this first one to go immediately, so I'll leave it as is. But the second email, I don't want it to go out at the same time as this, the first one. So I want to put a little wait in there. And you'll have it right here. This is the module. You click wait. And so now, 
I've got it set up to wait one hour after this for you, but I, I really want them to get it the next day, so I'm going to select that from here. Click the green Save button, and now I've got it all set up to go ahead and send out a day after they get this uh, this first freebie offer. So actually now they'll actually get the second and third because there's no wait between that. So I'm going to go ahead and add one. Go ahead and click wait. I want it to go out two days after they subscribe. Go ahead and click save. And there you are. So when they subscribe, the freebie will be sent immediately. Now it's going to wait one day and send out the second email. It's going to wait two days after they subscribe and send out the third. So you can keep going along those lines to create you know, as many as you'd like. If you want to create 10, you can create 10. Just make sure you have the appropriate uh, wait time before, uh, before it's sent out. So that's it there. If you have any questions, let us know. We're, we're here to help. Thanks and have a great day.